The luxury division of Ford updated its small crossover. Dennis Buderbaugh has cool car. I like the front end redesign of the new Lincoln Corsair. Otherwise, styling carries over from last year. Our review machine is a top trim reserve model with optional 20 inch wheels, all wheel drive and a host of other premium features. I usually don't care for red interiors, but this one really pops. Here's an unusual feature I have only ever seen before on Lincoln. You can adjust the driver's seat for each leg individually. Kind of cool. The video driver's display is now standard on all trims, and upper trims get a center video screen that's now more than 13 inches wide. I like how there's an actual volume knob for the 14-speaker audio instead of a touch control. The 8-speed automatic is controlled by dash-mounted push buttons. There's plenty of room in row two, even for three adults in a pinch. Reserve models also get a hands-free power hatch. The cargo hold is narrow, but deep, so space is good. Engine choices have been streamlined. Either this 2-liter turbo 4 with 250 horsepower, or a plug-in hybrid drivetrain. While acceleration is good, handling is on the mushy side, with nosedive during braking. The ride is quiet. So, for the Lincoln Corsair 2.0 all-wheel drive reserve, I say thumbs up to the excellent front seats, comfort and good cargo space. Thumbs down to boring driving. Dennis Butterbra, ABC 27 News. Dennis averaged about 26 miles per gallon in the Lincoln and the as-reviewed sticker price, 60685